what is up african fight fans it's your boy jbn i'm back here again with another basketball so what back basketball is is i scour the internet i find african fight fighters african fighters news oh gosh what is up african fight fans it's your boy jb and i'm back I, again with another bass boss so what bass boss is ladies and gentlemen this is where i scour the internet and i find news about african fighters and then i discuss about the said topics i give you my opinions and what's more important is you give me your opinion by dropping some comments in the comment section and i make sure i reply to every single comment out there so Thank you, kind folks, and before we get into today's topic, here is our graphic. Come on, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, what we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is uh, I give you a hint. Okay, I'm being stupid right now because you obviously saw the title of this video, you already know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the man from Batia, Cameroon, in the person of Francis Ngannou, the heavyweight champion of the UFC of the whole world basically that legally makes him the most dangerous human being walking the face of the earth he can literally beat anybody in any combat sports because he's a champion in the mma anyways so uh what we're going to be talking about today is uh francis Ngannou. finally we have an update about his knee and we have an update about his timetable when he's going to be out and um yeah i'm just going to show you guys here so it's on espn brett okomoto uh, Brett Okamoto here was uh, told by Markel Martin, who is Francis Ngannou's manager. He spoke about uh, Francis Ngannou is finally going to get a surgery done two days from today, March 18th. And uh, apparently, Francis Ngannou is going to be out for nine months after that surgery. So, uh, when you look at this news, at first glance, it's just, it's just news, right? But there is more there's more to it so um let me focus on you guys so uh the surgery will be done march 18th uh francis Ngannou needs nine months to recover from the surgery and do you know when nine months from march 18th is that's december 18th 2022 so do you know what else happens in december 2022 the end of December, Francis Ngannou is going to automatically uh, terminate his contract with the UFC, which he has been saying at the end of the year if he doesn't fight. So, uh, I don't know if you if I could tell you that uh, Francis Ngannou and his team decided to do the surgery this late so he can just avoid not fighting till the end of the year. Um, but... Uh, it kind of looks like that. Uh, well, there are a few people who came who came back from uh, an ACL surgery uh, less than nine months. Uh, we've seen them in the NBA a couple of times. But uh, I'm not saying Francis Ngannou is avoiding to fight. Obviously, nobody can force him to fight. He has already made his intentions clear that the UFC, if they don't do what he wants there, he's going to leave and he can legally leave at the end of the year after the surgery. So... My people say to Onamena, that means that everything falls in place for him. But uh, what we know for sure is that the UFC would do an interim title fight for the heavyweight title because obviously the apple does not fall far from the tree. The UFC have done it before. Just three months after Ngannou winning his heavyweight title, there was an interim fight. Remember in Houston, Derek Luiz, Cyril Gan. And. Obviously, that was one of the reasons, or that was one of the things that got Francis Ngannou annoyed about the whole thing. And uh, his whole situation about with the UFC, we could get into into that is in a different video. That's a long story, very complicated. So, um, the thing I, the thing I'm, 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 I'm most curious about is it? Have we seen the last of Francis Ngannou in the UFC? For now. Have we seen the last of it? Because Tyson Fury is doing a very good job in promoting his fight with Ngannou that is not official yet. So, uh, huh. honestly, uh, if I was Ngannou and if I can get that Tyson Fury fight, I would leave. I'll go do the Tyson Fury fight. 
Tyson Fury was on MMA Hour with Ariel Hawani and he did mention a couple of speculations, a, a couple of specifications or modifications to the fight if he actually fights in Ghana to make it more crazy. He mentioned the fight should be done in, uh, I forgot what the name of the stadium is, in Las Vegas. And uh, that's like uh, one of the giant NFL stadiums out there. And uh, he says they should fight in four ounce gloves, which is much thinner than the traditional boxing gloves. He says that would give Nganu the chance to knock him out. And obviously he'll get more the, the chance to knock out Nganu more bit with tiny gloves. And he also did mention one interesting point. That he's going to come in the heaviest he has ever been. Over 300 pounds. Just to show that he wouldn't train for the fight and he would knock Nganu out. So you see, uh, those little... Those little modifications makes it more interesting for us, five fans. And if that actually happens, Francis Ngannou is going to be a bigger pop star. Like when it comes to like the pop culture, the pop world, you know, he's going to be a bigger star than what he is in the UFC. And I think if he actually does get that fight done, it wouldn't be technically boxing if they use four ounce gloves. But he would get he would get paid, which I'm all for. I want Ngannou to get paid. He'll get paid, and uh, he'll be a, be a bigger star. He could fight another boxing fight, win or lose. He's still gonna make money, and he's gonna be a bigger star. He's already in Fast and Furious movies. He's gonna be in more franchises, and he can come back to the UFC with a bigger contract. He could explore the WWE. You know, so Francis Ngannou has. Uh, an amazing story so every pro, every show business out there can hop on his hop on his bandwagon and push the narrative the ufc to obviously uh it's working for them but uh obviously they try to they try to like well we get we we, we, we wouldn't get into that the ufc against francis and Ganu. so what i'm saying is we might have likely seen the end of francis and Ganu now because he wouldn't be able to fight until next year and uh, by then his contract is done unless what Dana White puts pulls out something at the rabbit the rabbit out of the hat I guess that's what the Americans say and uh, they fix the contract situation with Ngannou and actually let him go box which I don't think he would I don't think Dana White would because we have Kamaru Usman breathing down his neck about his fight with Canelo so if he bran if he grants Francis Ngannou fighting boxing he has to do for Kamaru Usman. And then there's a long list behind Kamaru Usman of people with such demands. So, yeah. I think uh, the UFC might probably just let him, let Nganu go. And just bank on him coming back. Right? Imagine he, Nganu goes off. Become a big star. Comes back to the UFC. And at the time he comes back to Rogan or John Jones. Or John Jones are the heavyweight champions. And he just comes and be like. The title I never lost. Because you guys remember before I left. I was a Dagestani because I started wrestling. Anyways. Uh, yeah that's that's my opinion about it. What do you guys think? I told you that's the most important thing. Your opinion. Tell me about it in the comment section below. And I'll make sure I reply to every single comment out there. And uh, just remember. In this game of fighting. When they give you bass, you go give boost. Make sure you uppercut the subscribe button and give a roundhouse kick to the like button. And the African fighters, we out. Come on, Africans! Ah,